right. What's up, everybody? Once again, I am back in Cyberpunk 2077, and it, the mods work. I got it to work again. Somehow. Very painstakingly, but it... Yeah, so far, so good. I had to basically downgrade the game back to its previous 2.12. Uh, if anybody needs a tutorial, I will show you how to do it. All right, so you know what? As a matter of fact, here's the tutorial now. I'll just show you real quick. All right, let's do this. All right, here we are. I'm gonna try to breeze through this as fast as I can. So what you wanna do is, same thing as last time, you remember, go into your library, find your cyberpunk, right click it, go into properties, go into updates, and make sure it is right here. Make sure it says only update this game when I launch it. That is the first step. Second step, make sure you're offline just in case, which you will have to eventually go back online because you're gonna need to download the, these these files, uh, their depots or whatever they're called. All right, so what you wanna do is, I have the instructions right here, by the way, I will copy and paste this text document into the video description and you can follow along step by step in case you don't, you know, you can't follow along this video or if I made it confusing and you didn't understand, I'll paste all this in the video description. So what you basically wanna do is, you're going to need like three things. You need the app ID. Remember in the first video, I said the app ID. You can look it up on SteamDB. It is 109-1500. You're also going to need the depot ID and the manifest ID. So the app ID is 109-1500. What you will want to do is go into properties, install files, browse, and if you followed along with the previous tutorial, I mentioned that you had to go into the app ID, into the properties, and you had to tick read only. Untick that because if it's not unticked, it says read only, you're not going to be able to download anything. So just make sure you untick this before you try to download the, the new depot or the previous depot. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. All right. With that, with read only unticked, what you're going to want to do is make sure you're back online. I know I said go offline before I made a mistake. Make sure you're back online and find the the app id i said that already you're gonna want to find where to go um the manifest you scroll down where it says app id cyberpunk 2077 scroll down to you till you see manifest it should be here somewhere where to go well here's a depot 109 1501 that's the one we're looking for okay here it is depot id is 109 1501 the build ID, don't worry about that, but you're gonna need this, the manifest ID. This is a long string of numbers. This is not the ID you want. This is the current one. So don't copy and paste that anywhere. What you do wanna do is find right over here, it says manifest. These are the previous ones that you want. See the one that's 18 hours ago, that starts with 435. Don't copy that. You're gonna want the one that says March 20th, 2024, which is six months ago. And that starts with 380738. It's a whole string of numbers. That's the one that you need. With that done, copy it somewhere. Or, like I said, this is the document, the text document that I will paste in the video description. I've done it for you already. I actually copied this from somewhere from the Nexus. This is the one that you want. Download Depot 109 1500. You're just gonna right click and copy that. But before you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna go into the console in Steam. So make sure you're back online. Well, let me exit this out. I have some games I need updating. We're not gonna do that right now. All right, make sure you're back online in Steam and copy this to C program files x86. So this is the default. Um, the default line or the default area where I have the game installed or Steam installed. So most people should have the same thing unless you put it on like a, an alternate drive like D or something like that. But usually it's most people have it on C. You copy that line of code and what you want to do is in the window search here at the bottom, you just type run enter. Copy and paste 
and then click OK. Now, as you will notice on the right over here, it immediately opened up the console in your Steam library. Down here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the download depot 109 1500109 and that long string of numbers which is the manifest id the 3807385820 blah 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 and this is for version 2.12 so if all your mods are probably built on 2.12 that's the one that you're going to want what you do is you copy and then you go back down right down here you can't right click and paste it it's not going to work so what you're going to do is you want to hold down control and then v and then right after that, you press enter. I am not going to press enter because it will download the depot that you need. And I already have that. And I'm telling you right now, it took me like, I think it was like an hour for it all to download. So you got to be patient. What you're also going to want to do is if you have Phantom Liberty, you have to download that depot as well. And that is located down here. Right click, copy it, and the same exact thing. Hold down control V and then press enter and it'll download that as well. So you can download both of them at the same time, which actually it won't download simultaneously, but as soon as the previous one is finished, it will start the next one. And I'm telling you, it's gonna take like an hour. So you gotta be patient. And that is it. As soon as it's downloaded, the place where you find the file, I'll show you right now. Go into properties, install files, go into browse, and it should be, oh, Steam apps. Okay, it will download in content. You'll see the app IDs and everything. And as soon as that is, or is it depot cache? I'm pretty, no, I'm pretty sure it's in, it will show up in content. But when you see the, the folder numbers, whatever, as when it's finished downloading, you'll see in the console, it will tell you, hey, it's finished. What you wanna do is after that, go into the folders, copy everything and paste it back into the game. And yeah, that's it. It's easy peasy, simple as that. Just copy. And and paste all those files back into the game so it just reverts it back to old exe the older files and you're pretty much done and yeah hopefully after that all your mods should work it worked perfectly for me i reinstalled them i didn't even have to reinstall the mods but actually you know what i did i erased bin i think engine and r6 and and r4 ext i erased it but i left it in the recycle bin that's what i did and then i re-verified the files unfortunately when it re-verified the files, it installed all the new ones. And then what I did was then I went into the um, the downgrade process and I re-downloaded it. And then I overwritten the new files with the older 2.212. And then after that, what I did is I went into my recycle bin, highlighted everything that I erased from bin. I think it was engine, R6, and red for EXT. And I even think I got rid of the mods folder. I right clicked all those mods or all those folders and I restored it and it went right back into the folder. And then I started the game and it was perfect. The game just started working. So yeah, that's it. I hope it was helpful. These tutorials helpful. I'm sorry if I didn't make things clear. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to you know ask me in the comment section. All right, with that said, I am out of here and uh, let's get back to the game. All right, so there we have it. We are back in Cyberpunk, and I'm just gonna play for a little while. Test out some of the mods to see if they're working. And one of the mods that is my all-time favorite is Auto Drive, because I am lazy. So here we go. That's it. I'm hands-free. I'm not even touching the controller now. So now I can just yap away and talk and not really focus on anything and just kind of enjoy the ride. What I really like about this is... I get to do it in first person. And, of course, performance is not all that. Because of this particular area. Some areas, it really knocks the performance down, unfortunately. That, I can't do anything about. I'll keep these mods. I made a backup. Right? This did it the last time there. Also, right here. Anyways. I made it back up, so I have it stashed somewhere on my other drive, so just in case if an update occurs without me knowing and it botches the game up, I can just, I'll just overwrite it again with the backup. But I think eventually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably do a clean install, you know, just reinstall everything. 
and not install so many damn mods. But yeah, this is really cool. Ooh. Okay. Looking left and right is a bit jarring. Like I stated previously, you know, the best, best performance I've ever seen this game perform on is with virtual desktop. So I wish, I wish Luke would make it compatible to a virtual desktop in terms of the recording. Now this is rough. This area is really bad. I'm gonna have to... Damn, I'm probably gonna have to knock it down to 3088. I don't want to. I'm recording Oculus Mirror this time, by the way. I like this view the best. You know, I'll try riding a motorcycle. See what that's like on auto drive. We are not going to go into camp. Get out. Yeah. Right, we're going to... Try the motorcycle. And last but not least, after the motorcycle, I want to try... Oh, what is this? Zeta Tech Valgus. After the motorcycle, I'm going to try the flying thing. Oh, that's hot. Oh, very cool. Get in the cockpit. Okay. Uh... This doesn't look right. My head is too low. Oh yeah, my head is way too low. The game is probably gonna crash, because every time I use this mod, the game crashes. I think 
CP2077. Um, first person driving offset. It's gonna have to move it up. Okay. Let's try that. Ah! Much better. That's pretty cool. Actually, let me go one, two notches. I think that's good. Okay. Two notches is good. All right. Oh, that's hot. It's a helicopter of the future. If I can figure out how to fly this thing. It's a little wonky. Okay, yeah, it's turning. Yeah, I don't like this. All right, I think I'm gonna get out. Looks cool, but... Okay. Oh, what the... Controller's going nuts. Stop it. Stop it. I need a new controller. Okay, we're gonna go on a bike. God, it's so loud. Me a cool motorcycle. Come on. Where you at? Give me something stylish. Ah, eh, that's nice. Rayfield Excalibur. This is the one I'm talking about. This will make my game crash, though. But I'll I'll do that last. You know what? This one looks cool. The Nazari Racer. Alright. I think that's pretty cool. That's decent. The light is too bright, though. Here we go. Keep it off. And... Tweak the first person. Move it up. Maybe two notches. Alright, I think that's decent. Nah. Maybe one notch lower. Here we go. Alright, let's see where we can go. Hmm. Find somewhere far. I don't know. We'll go to the opposite side. Let's go over here. If I can go over here. It's not letting me. As far as it's going to let me go for some reason. Well, oh, well. better than nothing. All right, here goes. Auto drive, baby. Woo! It's a lazy man's way of driving. Yeah, I wish I could figure out how to do it with the aerial vehicles, auto-drive. I don't know how to do it. I gotta go back to the Nexus Mods page and 
try to find some directions and read it thoroughly. Hate your meat? What does that say? What the hell? Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'd rather have a smooth ride because it's making me nauseous. Uh, I'm gonna. Wait a minute. What? The resolution is on 3920 this whole time? Holy crap. That's why it was so friggin'. That's why it's so bad. All right. All right, it's better. Yeah, better. Much better. even lower down to 3088. Don't want to, but like I said, I'd rather be smooth. No. Of course. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. Game crashed. Show me!